Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today, I'm going to introduce you guys to a brand new series here in Scrap Mechanic. As you see from the title, we are going to be building a micro city. Now, I've done town builds before in Scrap Mechanic, and everything's kind of been limited uh, as far as the size. But this is something that's going to be a little bit different. This isn't going to be like our normal town builds. Uh, this is going to be much bigger. I'm talking, uh, when I say city, I mean city as in skyscrapers, big buildings, different districts, and it's all going to be on one map. So, I've got a little bit of explaining to do as to how this is going to work. We'll go through it here in a second. I do want to go ahead and point out, I was inspired to do this. Uh, I had a viewer creations episode the other day and had like a mini Monster Jam arena, which was my big arena, except for somebody had shrunk it down. And it just inspired me to go ahead and do this. And I think a lot of you guys saw it coming from the comments that I saw in that video. So anyways, we're going to go over this. Uh, one bit of business we got to take care of right before we go through this micro city is going over the winner of the Discord contest from last week. We had the video game theme uh, Discord contest and Mr. Alstract is the winner. Uh, he is now going to be a late builder on the Discord. Also, I'm going to link down his YouTube channel and his workshop down below. He's actually got a really cool YouTube channel. He does a lot of really complex scrap mechanic builds. I strongly suggest you check that out. And congratulations to him. And we will announce the new Discord contest on Monday. But anyways, if you are enjoying scrap mechanic on the channel, maybe leave this video a thumbs up and let's jump right into the micro city. Okay, first off, I still have to give a shout out to Ben there 135 uh, This was the guy that inspired me with his builds here to start this micro city build. Uh, let me go ahead and flash up. Uh, there's the uh, mini Monster Jam Arena right there. So this is what we're dealing with here. And I'm actually really excited about this. I flashed a picture of this on my Discord and nobody even could tell that this was all miniature sized. So. What we got here, this is going to be a lot of input from you guys as far as names, what districts, what buildings we do. Uh, so pay attention during this episode. I might ask a couple questions I'd like to uh, hear from you guys down below. But where we're starting here, we actually have a pretty big bridge. I built this bridge thinking that we're going to have this lead into the main city. Uh, so it is empty behind us here. Oh, there's actually a, a garbage truck in the water over there. Uh, I am using some mods. I'm using mostly Durf and Lord Pain mods. Uh, you notice the water mod that we normally use uh, with the uh, the underwater base. I'm actually using it because this is going to be something, I would say something like uh, New York City, how it's kind of surrounded by water. Uh, I didn't want the kind of ugly flat land. I wanted to cover it up with something, so that's where the water came from. And I knew I was going to be building a sweet bridge to come in here. So as far as the scale, this is miniature. Like, the cars that are going to fit on this, let me go ahead and pull one out real quick, are going to be right around, actually, I don't have any of my own. Uh, Mr. Non-Newtonian actually built a couple. But these are the scale of the cars. So, this is what you're seeing on the bridge here. This is a single lane bridge. I might split it into two. I might be able to move the center divider out and uh, make it like two lanes up and down. But yeah, it's got that. It's got this pedestrian pathway all the way up the side. You've got the lights here. You can see the cables. Uh, the bridge itself to me looks actually pretty awesome. I was taking a, a little bit of inspiration from the Golden Gate Bridge, uh, just from some pictures, but it's not like an exact, like this is the Golden Gate Bridge leading into the city. But yeah, this uh, bridge is actually quite big. Uh, it leads all the way down this way, and it's actually got an off ramp here, and it leads into what I've done so far in the micro city. Alright, I'm just going to give you guys one more little view of the bridge here. This bridge actually took quite a bit of time to build. Uh, but once I built one section, I was able to actually copy and paste it and weld it all together. Now, something I want to hear from you guys. Would you like me to put like the parts of the micro city up? Because I'm trying to make this as modular as possible. As far as having like roads on the lift, having the bridge on the lift. So I might be uploading some of this on the workshop if you guys want to see it. But anyways, uh, this bridge leads off here, and it leads right into town. Or, I keep saying town. I'm so used to calling everything a town here in Scrap Mechanic. This is going to be a city. Uh, it doesn't look like a city right now, because this has taken a lot of work, but it's going to eventually be one. So, as far as what we have here in the city so far, we're kind of actually working on 
I would say a bit more of an industrial sector and harbor sector. Uh, a lot of times you see in these big major cities, uh, like if they're on like an island or if they're by the coast, uh, normally the outer ring of the city is going to be something like harbors, uh, factories, and stuff like that. So that's what we're working with here. So what we have so far, we have a recycling plant here. We'll go over all this in detail here in a second. Uh, I've got a gas station set up over here. And we've actually got a pretty good sized harbor set up here, like a cargo harbor. And we also actually have cargo boats that hover. And I'll show you guys that here in a second. So this all leads around. I did tinker with my first building. I wanted to have some sort of skyscraper ready to go, but I didn't quite get around to doing that yet. But I do have one pretty good sized building here. And you can see it here. It's a CA office building. That's actually Komodo America. If anybody has watched my channel, they watch the truck stop episodes. That's what that is. And I kind of want to do that with a lot of these builds. I want to introduce stuff that I had in the town and maybe miniaturize it, if that's even a word, and put it here in the city. So, and you can see also this is where the, uh, the bridge leads off and loops under. This is going to eventually be a, a four-way intersection. I'll connect it over to the left side here and we'll go forward this way. So, what we're going to do here, let's go ahead and break this down. We're going to go into detail, talk a little bit about the scaling and how everything's going to work here. Alright, so we're going to start here by the recycling plant. As you can see from the roads, there are two ways, uh, both ways. So, we will actually change this up because I do eventually want to get like a turning lane road, but I think for this area, this is actually pretty good. So, we've got a little recycling center, and yes, folks, we do have little bitty garbage trucks. Uh, this was a garbage truck actually made by the uh, Benther. Uh, I think I said that right. Been there. One, three, five. Uh, yeah, this thing works with the little recycling center. Uh, we had a recycling center somewhat like this in the old town. Uh, that was some of my inspiration here. So uh, let's go ahead and hop into this. These are sometimes kind of hard to get into because you have to find the seat. There it is. So yeah, I know it looks a little weird with the character, but picture this more like a diorama or something. Something where you're, you just get to play with it and... Not necessarily the character itself is going to be the scale. So we can drive up to here. We'll hit this sensor on the thing here. We got a little miniature gate. It's going to lift up. And we are ready to drive through. So we can drive through. Uh, we can go load up. Say he has a little dumpster. I don't think I have one spawn, do I? So yeah, you can uh, load the little dumpsters up. This is a little recycling center if you need to go dump the load off. Let's go and hop into here. You can see the actual metal, metal building itself. Now, not every building is going to have detail on the inside like this building here. As you can see, you got the lights, you got the little shelves. Uh, there's actually a little office over here, a little desk in there. I don't know, it's really neat to do this. It's not going to be possible once we get to like skyscrapers. I won't be able to do every floor like this. Uh, but I thought this was like a neat little detail. You can kind of see throughout the buildings, even though like the gas station itself over there. Uh, you can look into that. We'll, we'll check that out here in a second. Uh, but yeah, we got some uh, recycled materials out here. You got some storage out here. We've got this pretty cool looking little fence. I'm using some modded parts. I want to say this might be a part of one of the Durf mods or Lord Payne mods, one or the other. So we got a nice little fence around here. So yeah, you can move these vehicles around. Now the good thing about this all is the whole fact that we're not getting, like, I think the limit's going to be a lot higher opposed to the town. Uh, once, say if this was all built to full scale in the town, we would probably already be lagging. And that's why I look forward to doing this because I think we're going to be able to make a really big city here. Especially since uh, Scrap Mechanic just had an update and optimized some new stuff. Or optimized more things, uh, especially these big creations. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop out of here. That's the recycling center. Uh, by the way, the town does need a name. If you guys want to comment below with that, I don't want to call it Komodoville because we've already gone through Komodoville and that is no more as far as the city here. This is going to need a, a true city name. So anyways, here's the gas station. I am kind of mad I didn't make this a Komodo America gas station. We'll probably have to add one more here or we'll add it on, probably on the other side of the city because we have the little Komodo America office building back there. But yeah, this is a Shell gas station. You got the little sign out here. You got the sign up here. Uh, you've got like a little air pump out. Or normally the air pumps are separated from the actual gas pump. Sometimes they're in the middle, but we have one out here. Got a couple little bushes. You can drive in here with your car. Uh, you've actually got an ignore. This uh, Mr. Non Newtonian actually built this. Uh, we'll check this out here in a second. This is really cool. It's got the CA on it, so it doesn't exactly go with the Shell gas station. But yeah, here's the gas station itself. 
Uh, I'm using some of these Lord Pain parts. Or like the, I think they're like plate parts. And it really actually adds to the detail. Because you can tell this is just one square of metal block. But I've added the plates on the outside so you can give it that two-tone color. Uh, to the, like the overhead part of the station here. So you've got that. You've got the little gas pumps here. You've got a little mini car here getting gas. And you have the little store itself. Now the store itself does have detail. You can kind of see the counter there. Uh, maybe the coolers on the side. It's got some tables set up. Uh, some uh, probably counters with drinks on it. And there's a little office or I would say maybe it's a restroom there in the back. So you've got that. Uh, you can kind of look around the whole thing here. Probably need to add like a garbage or some sort of trash can or dumpster out here out back. Uh, you've got the employee entrance here on the back. And you got a couple little phone booths here on the side. So yeah, that's the kind of detail that I like about this type of build. I like being able to go into these little bitty buildings and try to make it look like they're actually like really detailed on the inside, even though it's a miniature scale. All right, so that's the gas station. We're ready to, uh, actually, let's go ahead and check out this truck real quick since it goes with the gas station. This is built by Mr. Non-Newtonian. Uh, this is a little tanker truck, as you can see. Uh, yes, you can actually drive this thing around. Uh, we gotta find the seat here. Ah, there it is. Found the seat. But yeah, this is a cool little tanker, so we can go around, deliver gas. This might actually go out to the harbor, depending on how the uh, the city here gets their gas uh, supply. I guess we can also, and I'm thinking about building like a little mini train station, which I think that would be really cool in this scale. But yeah, you can drive this around. Uh, I don't have working lights yet. Actually, I probably need to make those a little bit bigger. But yeah, here's the uh, intersection here. We can turn in. Say we're going to turn in and go to the gas station to deliver gas. We'll just turn in this way. Uh, this thing surprisingly turns pretty decent for its size, even though it's, I would say it's, I say it's big, but you know, realistically it's not big, but it's big for the scale. So yeah, you can pull in here, deliver some gas. Uh, it's really cool. Mr. Non-Newtonian built that. He also built something extremely cool and it's going to be out in the harbor. Uh, we're about to check that out. But yeah, you got the little tanker and you got the little gas station here. But anyways, let's move on to the uh, next thing. All right, so pretty much every major city that is, say, on the coast or is by a big body of water has some sort of harbor or, say, some sort of shipping yard. And that's what we have here. And this thing came out great. Let's go ahead and trip the gate here. Let ourselves in. Uh, this shipping yard looks awesome. I, I love the way this came out with all the cranes. We even got some uh, actual cargo boats themselves. Uh, we've got one that hovers, and then we have the one that's stationary over here. Uh, as you can see, it's a, just a big shipping yard. So you've got all the big cargo containers out here. You've got some storage buildings. Uh, let me go ahead. Let's pull this out here. I'm trying to give you guys a little bit more of an idea as far as the scaling of everything here. So this is a mini bobcat. You can see about what, a, or at least what kind of person would be able to fit in there. Uh, same with like the little building here. This is just a little office. Uh, if you look at the door, it's two by two. So picture that being a human, just to give you guys a little bit of a scale. Now you are gonna notice some of the vehicles are a bit bigger uh, than the scale of the city itself, but that's because that's as small as it's gonna get to have a functioning vehicle. So yeah, as far as the cargo yard here, all the cranes actually, I say they work, they're morely kind of visual. They don't actually pick stuff up, uh, but they do all move. So if you wanna hop up in, into any of the cranes here, uh, you've got one dock that's out here. Uh, by the way, there's another small dock over here. I guess I should go ahead and point that out. Uh, this is for not for the actual cargo harbor. Maybe this will be for maybe police boats or anything or anybody that might be out in the harbor. If they got to get up to the main part of the city, they can dock here. But yeah, the cargo harbor over here. You can hop up here and you can see there is a cargo boat getting ready to be loaded up. Now this is a miniature cargo bo boat. This isn't like one of those huge ones that you see. I would like to see one like that in this scale, but we'll call this a smaller version of that. Uh, we can go ahead and let's go ahead and hop up into here. Uh, the crane itself moves around. It looks really funny with the scrap mechanic character uh, setting on it. Could you imagine if you were this size and you had a play city like this and you could sit here and play with the cranes? That would be awesome. So yeah, Mr. Scrap Mechanic characters on top of here. Uh, the one and two keys rotate the crane itself. The three key activates the uh, arm to go down. So say if you're picking up a crate off the boat, 
and you can shift it over here. Uh, the four key actually extends the arm, so say if it's one of the far crates on the other side. So yeah, you can move it over here, say you need to load it down here, and say the, uh, the bobcat or the forklift, whatever's going to move these crates, will be ready to go down there. So all three of the, uh, the cranes move here. This is actually using one of the new parts here in Scrap Mechanic. I think this is a tower piece. I think this has something to do with uh, survival. They're going to have like these warehouses and uh, that's a part of it here. So yeah, you've got three of those. You got a couple Porta Johns over here. You got tons of crates stacked up. I might even stack some more up to make this look like an even bigger yard. Uh, you've got that and you've got like a little workshop back here. And I love these little lights. I don't know if this is Durf or if this is Lord Payne's lights. But these little mini lights fit perfect on those pipe pieces and they work great for like light poles. Uh, as you can see, I have tons of them up on the bridge over there. But yeah, this is a little workshop here. You've got some of the storage containers stored up in there. And then of course we go around here to the back. I haven't finished the back of the uh, harbor. I don't know if I'm going to extend it, maybe add a couple more docks. I wasn't really sure where the actual main part of the land, if it was going to go out this way or if we we're going to just go straight back. So. Alright, so there's one last thing to check out here in the cargo harbor. Of course, you see the cargo ship over here. And this is something Mr. Non-Newtonian built. We do have a working version of this cargo ship. I just wanted to stick an extra one out here and make it stationary. That way it kind of looks cool with the harbor. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop off over here. And let's spawn this bad boy in. This is really cool. When he showed this to me, I was extremely, extremely impressed. So we got it here. Check this thing out. Watch what it does. It's going to go down. Actually, I probably shouldn't drop it that high. Let's drop it from about there. Check this out. It actually looks like it's floating. Like it's got that bob to it. Let's go ahead and turn off particles. All right. So yes, folks, if you want to check out the spider web here, you can drive this thing around. And what's cool about this one, he's actually has it to where you're hidden in it. So you can't even see yourself. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, the little propellers start to go forward. Oh, it's so neat. It's so cute. Uh, it is small, so unfortunately small creations tend to be a little bouncy, but it does function. And if you give it a second and say if it starts to capsize, uh, just let off and let it settle itself out. And we can start to go in the water and just try to float around. This is so cool. Uh, I was sure to make the, uh, the bridge itself tall enough so ships can go under it. Oh, we're drifting a little bit towards the bridge. We might have a disaster here. Let's see if we can avoid disaster. Come on, come on, don't hit the bridge. <laughs> oh, all the people on the bridge are probably not very happy at the moment. But yeah, it's so cool because I can picture us having more ships, maybe more cargo ships, yachts, uh, maybe tugboats and stuff like that. So we'll be able to actually like drive them under the bridge. So that's going to be very awesome once we get all that in place. But yeah, I have to definitely thank Mr. Non-Newtonian for uh, building this. This looks absolutely awesome. I love all the little details in here with the cargo containers, uh, the big tower in the back. Uh, it just looks perfect and it goes along great with the city. But anyways, we're going to go uh, park this bad boy over back at the harbor and we're going to go ahead and finish this up here. Anyways, that is the little mini cargo harbor. Really happy with the way that came out. You can see it's blocked off. Oh, I do want to go ahead and note real quick. Uh, it is a separate island. I know Scrap Mechanic has optimized it to where big creations are a lot more stable, but I'm still going to split it up where I can to make sure we still get the maximum amount of frame rate. But anyways, uh, the last thing we have to check out here is going to be the office building. Okay, so this was the last thing I built because I wanted to start to test out the scale of big buildings and this isn't necessarily a big building this is only five stories but could you imagine if you had a 20 story building or maybe a 30 story building uh, that's what we're talking about here when I talk about a city I I'm not talking about like I said a town anymore and I, I really just want to emphasize that to you guys because I want to hear from you guys like what do you want to see skyscraper wise and stuff like that uh, I just didn't really build many of them because the whole fact of this is kind of an industrial area. You're not going to see many skyscrapers. I think the skyscraper is going to start to appear right back in this area. So this is the CA home offices. This is the Komodo America. It's our big truck stop. Uh, I guess we'll call it our big truck stop corporation or whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is their main office here. So I felt like this would be an okay office building to have kind of in the industrial sector. 
Uh, it is five stories. Uh, it's got a little entrance here and you can somewhat see I did a little bit of detail on the inside but I didn't try to actually fill out the five stories here because that would have been a lot to do. You got that. You got these little bushes in front. It's got its own little parking lot. I have a sign here ready to go. I just haven't put any uh, lettering on it yet. Uh, it does have a uh, side entrance here, but it does have any, it doesn't have any more entrance uh, anywhere else around the uh, the building. Uh, might build a parking garage over here, but anyways, let's go ahead and get up on a lift real quick. Kind of give you guys a little bit more uh, of a feel for the scaling of this building. So you can see there's actual uh, floors all through there. There's concrete floors, uh, so you can actually kind of tell the difference in the floors. It's just it's just not like a hollow building. So I'm using that. I'm using some of the Lord Payne pieces for those pillars. And of course, on top of the building itself, there's some air conditioning units, uh, some antennas, and stuff like that, and some uh, ventilation. So yeah, pretty cool little building. Uh, if you want to step back a little bit and kind of get a feel for like what it looks like. It actually looks the best uh, from the bridge here where you're coming off of it. And I can only imagine once we start to really fill this out, once you start getting some real big buildings, what this is going to look like coming off the bridge. I think it's going to look amazing. So anyways, uh, that's about it for the micro city. If you guys want to contribute anything to this city, I am going to have a download link down below. I will be accepting stuff. I'm going to be a little bit more picky about this though as far as what I accept. I strongly suggest that you download the city first, walk through it, and get a feel for the scaling of the buildings and the cars. That way, once you uh, build something, you'll kind of know uh, where I'm coming from and what will fit in here. So I will be taking buildings. If you want to build a skyscraper, if you want to build a small building, gas station, whatever you want to build, I will be taking them through the Discord and through my email, which I'll flash up on screen now. And uh, so if you want to send something over, I'll check it out. If it fits in the city, you might see it in one of the future episodes. But yeah, I'm super excited about this series. Uh, I'm actually really pumped. I thought about doing another town, but I decided by the time you start going back through the town and start doing the same buildings that you've already built, uh, that might be a little boring going back and building full-size buildings. So here, I can sit here and knock out three or four things an episode and have these pretty big updates and still have all that detail and have it look neat. But anyways, we're going to continue this here very soon. Uh, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. Uh, comment below with suggestions. Looking forward to reading through those. And uh, we will be announcing the next Discord contest for Scrap Mechanic on Monday. So if you want to join the Discord, and uh, we'll be giving out the theme there and doing that. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic.